Hey kids, today we're going to learn how to balance a motorcycle tire with a static balancing machine. Yay! To the bat poles. So the first thing you need to do is acquire a static balancing machine. Duh! And the second thing you need to do is um, place the static balancer on a semi-level surface and then level the uh, machine using the screw in legs, the feet, and uh, using the eyeball um, plumb bubble on the top of the machine. And the next step is to grab your wheel and the center shaft and insert the center shaft through the hub. The centering cones go on each side of the hub on each side of the shaft and they're secured with a hex bolt. Make sure that both sides are firmly secured and they should be fitting on the bearing races uh, inside your wheel hub. Now, once you've placed both centering cones and make sure that they're tightly um, secured, make sure there's no play in the wheel, uh, there's no movement from side to side, and then you just put the shaft on top of the rollers and center the tire uh, on the mark as best you can. And then what you're going to do is let the tire spin freely. No need to spin it. It will just drop like this. And I decided to speed this up to make it a little bit more entertaining and easier to watch. But you can see how uh, right now I've got weights on the tire. I, I did not remove the, uh, the weights, the previous weights from the previous tire. I wanted to see how this thing actually worked. So now I'm removing the weights, which I would recommend that you do before <laughs> you, you try to uh, balance your tire. But you can see um, the, uh, the tire is going to need weights. Obviously, uh, it's uh, pretty close to the, uh, the same uh, place where the old weights were. Um, but now I'm going to mark the top of the tire away from the weight, the, the, uh, the the biggest weight of the tire which is at the bottom the the heaviest part of the the, the rim in the tire is going to fall to the bottom and what you want to do is mark where the top um, of the tire is at this point but you've got to wait for it to settle and it takes a lot longer um, but of course this thing is sped up and I've adjusted it uh, a couple of times here just to make sure that I've got um, the right position you want to get as close as you can and simply keep in mind that the heaviest part of the tire and wheel will roll to the bottom. Um, just to make sure you can uh, do what I'm doing and I just keep checking and uh, I finally add the weight here and I don't push the weight all the way down. Um, I'm using the clamp on weights instead of sticky weights. Um, but I wanted to see if this actually um, fixed the, uh, the balance problem here. My buddy's, uh, showing how he balances, which is he spins the tire. And I don't think that's necessary um, because your, your wheel is going to fall to the heaviest part. And you just simply add the weight to the top um, after you check it a few times, which is what I did. And now we're talking about the, uh, the theory and uh, <laughs> physics and all that stuff. But uh, pretty uh, interesting uh, balance. I've First, first tire I've actually balanced myself. I've seen lots of them balanced with this technique. And obviously it works pretty good. Um, and next thing to do is hammer this thing on when you feel confident that you've got it in the right place. And I actually had to let some air out of the tire to put this weight on. And uh, I still couldn't uh, manage to get the, uh, the uh, weight to seat up with my limited hammer tools here so obviously I've got to go find a substitute hammer since my sheer power doesn't work on these weights. Anyway, fun day. 
And this is what I wound up finding to apply <laughs> the weight to the rim, a nice hard brick. Well, that'll work for a hammer. Just need some mass, that's all I needed. Mass. Yeah, that's on there really nice. All right. Then all you have to do is loosen the hex bolts that are holding the uh, centering cones on, at least on one side. Remove the shaft, put your uh, cones back on the shaft, and then clean up. Put some iron in that tire and go ride. Oh.